for tests. They not maybe not belong to scholarship, but they are still young, but they're still even younger than us. They join the movement or they participate in different organization, and then nobodies, nobodies in Hong Kong will laugh at the student who come out for protest. Nobody will say that you just step back and go to study. The people is now respecting the teenagers now, and it is really good to make this change. Yeah. 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 Everyone, I just want to say it's really an honor and a privilege to, to meet with you guys and to have you with us. And you're such an inspiration. It's, the, the idea can't be contained, and you guys are. Um, finally, I would just share one small experience in high school. Um, I did not get a good conduct grade in high school and uh, always uh, no matter uh, uh, the class discipline or the haircut is the things um, that uh, my teachers especially class teacher focus on and they are quite discouraged and disagree on youth political participation but after the anti-national education movement and and the class teacher always just just checking my uniform and haircuts and class discipline come to the assembly and shake the hands and with me and say that thank you for your commitment to change the society. So um, I would just say that uh, why we will get the commitment to involve in activism or youth political participation apart from those political ideology or how to get reform, uh, universal value, human rights, uh, rule of law, it's more important for us to seek the change in the society. And I just hope everyone, you guys sit here, maybe you guys are not really familiar with the situation of Hong Kong, but youth political participation already rise in Hong Kong. And I just hope more of the people in United States and in the world keep their eyes in Hong Kong, especially Hong Kong is the last city under the rule of communists of party of China can see the hope of democratization and human rights. So in the future, no matter uh, we have uh, tried to lobbying um, the congressman and senator to introduce Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act uh, in the um, Capitol Hill, and also uh, we will have more international community interaction and just hope more and more people, if you guys um, even we have diverse political system, culture, and history. But if we still believe in democracy, human rights, and freedom, let us continue to support the human rights and the movement in Hong Kong. Thank you. Thank you, guys.